Welcome, y'all. Y'all, let's get this party started. We have paint stuff and tripping posters. And some canvases for painting. We got snacks ready. This is like a little lingerie chair with a whole bunch of goodies on it. This is our little table. I've said it once and I will happily say it again. Please, if you are going to trip, have your fresh fruit. It's so good. If y'all not eating fruit, I can't vibe with you. Unless you have a medical reason on why you can't eat fruit or you just really don't like the taste. I don't understand it. It's such a good, like, healthy snack. I feel the same way, like, almost with people who are like, I can't drink water. It don't taste like nothing. That's like saying you hate the smell of clean air. But anyways... Hey y'all, what's good? Okay, we just took the Forbidden Forest fruit. All right, we got Shadi over here patting her head. That is Lay. We have Crayla over here, aka Mars. Check out her channel. She is tripping for the first time, so we gave her these colorful posters just to see how her trip is going and checking in and stuff like that. A word of advice and just a little trip etiquette. If it's your first time, it's good to start small and just see how things go. Don't force any type of activities. If you have something fun to do, such as colorful posters or any activities feel free we've had these posters for a minute and we oh what's going on sis sis what we doing i'm like a hyper little kid that has like a sugar attack every two seconds <laughs> anyways um it's cool to have back to what this one kato'd what what's going on all right this one's out for the count <laughs> lay baby girl is you good oh no oh no it gets worse it gets worse what is what is this content what is going on? All right, so we got one KO'd out on the floor. <laughs> we have this one who is not helpful in the slightest. I'm so, I'm so useless. What am I doing? Okay, well, this is how the trip started, as y'all can see. We are chilling and vibing. Now, Lay and I have tripped before, and we did take more, and these seem to be kicking in fast. Whoa, whoa, the world is spinning. Oh, the colors are starting. Y'all, I was just glitching a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. The strain of this shroom is called Penis Envy and apparently they are stronger. I went ahead and took two grams and it was the perfect amount to feel just enough but not too much. So I was definitely vibing. I liked it. It was a good little, it was the perfect amount. We were still geeking off of the dumbest shit. And yeah, we had the emotional sides of the trip. We had the hilarious side. So it was a good balance, honestly. All right, y'all, we have entered manual breathing mode. <laughs> Would you like to? Okay. <laughs> 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 no, I find it the funniest. I find it the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> I find it that funny too. We're gonna look at this and be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this content? Let me tell y'all one thing. You cannot control the direction of a shroom trip. It's gonna go however it's gonna go. You might find yourself getting stuck or jumping from task to task. We were trying to get some work done, but hello, we're on shrooms. So <laughs> we were trying to film some content and collab, but it's gonna happen however it's gonna happen, honey. And that's that. Look at us working on shrooms. Yeah. Aww. Oh, I'm so proud of us. <laughs> Stop. That's what I. I've been sitting here and I was like, let me get all my content with my wig on, and then I was like, yes. Do you have a bonnet? That's a lifesaver. The bonnet's the lifesaver. Okay, yeah, that's the lifesaver. You're like, I'm. Uh, what am I? What the fuck am I? <laughs> I am pretty. Pretty ugly. I'm the baddest bitch at the party. We just did. I know Crayon was gonna be like, what the fuck are these bitches on about? I'm crying. She's like, um. You guys were talking about that episode of Spurs. Yeah! Woo! Hi, BB. Hi, BB. You were you were like. Oh, <laughs> 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 
God, don't remember these things right now. No, 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 no. It's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 all right, as you can see, we're already off to a chaotic start. Now, unfortunately, it took Mars a little bit to trip, so we do feel bad because we were already, our trip had kicked in. But she did join us in the party, don't worry. Make sure, as I always say, have the perfect shroom playlist with all the best songs on there that you like to listen to because music does really make a difference in a mushroom trip. But yeah, we was chilling and then this happened. Now this bitch. <laughs> She knows, she knows what mirrors do, and you let us into the bathroom? This is a trap. This is a trap. You tricked us. We went from not being able to walk to walking to the bathroom. Girl, what is the reason? We going out bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Enter Mars, who doesn't know it yet, but she too will be tripping soon. And look how cute, can I just, can we please take a moment to appreciate how fine my friends are? We got the anime aesthetic, we have the comfy onesie, and I thought it was hilarious because we looked so different in outfits, but we was all chilling. Fucking pretty. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Yeah, we should definitely sit in the car and do all this. Let's smoke. How does this slinky feel, though? I don't know. Uh, does it make you feel old? <laughs> it's the floor for me. The floor is cool. Why? It's so big. Because the ones I had as a kid were very small. Yep. They were not nearly as great. It's the adult slinky. <laughs> 
The colors are so pretty. Holy shit. I'm tripping and I'm healthy, most likely. Right. I know what I'm saying. It's y'all arguing over this ring light for me. Right there. That's what they say. I don't know what they look at. Like, yeah. I want to say animalistic, but like in a sexy way. You should have yeah. been there. I have a warm bath. Yes. Yeah. Aww. 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 Forever iconic. The slinky. The slinky. It's always the slinky. You're so adorable. You're just vibing. So much apprehension, yet adventure lies in a shroom trip. And for the first time, Mars was tripping. And let me say that I've tripped a few times, but this was one of the most beautiful trips I've ever had with my friends. I was overwhelmed. Like I said, you never know which way a shroom trip might actually go. And so we were trying to go outside and smoke for the longest. We were like, drugs on drugs, drugs squared. We were gonna go outside, get some fresh air and smoke. And we just never made it outside. We cannot make it outside for some reason. I got in the shower. I was like, yeah, okay, like, because we we're going to do collabs and stuff. I was like, well, I'm down to do collabs. And then Mars is still waiting to trip. Me and Lay were laughing. It was just all over the place. I felt good in the shower. So I was like, you know what? Let's not force collabs. But I am about to chill in the shower because the water feels so good right now. And then suddenly this, this. It was so beautiful and I'm not gonna get it too much into it because this is Mars's moment and please check out her channel. See her first trip from that perspective, her own perspective, so she can share the details about that and all the personal meaning behind it as well if she chooses to do so. But that said, from my point of view, I just wanna say I'm so grateful for my friends. This was such a beautiful moment. I was just really overwhelmed. I ended up being really emotional because I thought about the fact that usually everybody leaves in life and I've spent a lot of time solo and getting used to being abandoned or doing the abandoning. And I just realized that I was really grateful for the other two people in this room and for genuine friendship. You do not experience these emotions. You do not experience these moments that turn into memories when you are all alone. No one person will ever stick around your entire lifetime. People come and go. They may leave hurt or happiness behind, but the memories they leave are magical in themselves because they make you feel something. You can't deny that. And so I stood in that shower knowing I wasn't alone and thought about how I live my life on a screen. And because of the other souls I've come across in this lifetime, and there are still many more to come, I have been allowed to experience almost the full spectrum of human emotion. Experiences and emotions make me feel like I'm alive. They make me aware of how alive I can be. But other people remind me that not only am I not alone, but I'm not the only one experiencing everything. This life throws at you, whether it's gruesome or glorious. A lot of people will argue that when you record your life like this and post it, that it doesn't come off as genuine. Whether you're crying on camera or sharing your success, oh, it's not candid, it's just content. Why can't you believe it could be both? Because I don't trust my brain to safe keep these memories. I don't trust myself to not forget moments like these. As much as we have to experience in life, I know that these are going in the vault, but sometimes the vault gets full. I'm not going to lie. And I want to remember moments like these, dancing in the bathroom with my friends and just vibing to music and feeling everything in your chest feel like it's going to explode and suddenly just dancing and letting it out and just... It was a lot. And it was our little moment. And I don't need the internet to believe whether it was real or not, because I know it was real. And I'm so grateful for it. That said... Exactly. Why are any other people worried about it when they should be worried about changing their own fucking name? Exactly. And then people because always because say it's self-based, uh, say, uh, like, this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So amazing. And I only went to Dosa small enough that way it would be it's, heavily it's concentrated. The growing for me. You peeped. Yeah. 
it is it's popping. Going. It's coming. Yo, back. what's it is doing? Is that shit growing? It's not growing. It's absorbing the um the I alcohol. I know, but like she made a new way to drink that shit. <laughs> That's pretty. It's very artsy as well. Yeah. Everything I do is an experiment. <laughs> That was cool. Y'all, sometimes I really be wondering if my vibrator is filming these videos because it be bouncing around so terribly. Anyways, what you heard earlier was a conversation about the literal meaning of staying in your lane and how everyone does not have the same destination. It was really great. I got a little snippet of it, but yeah, we're about to go ahead and head out. So stay tuned for that. But question, did we get kicked out? Let's find out what happens when we went downstairs to one of the grand rooms. Did you see the ceiling? Yes. Hey y'all, what's up? We're tripping. We are on a gorgeous ass. Gorgeous ass. Everything. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. She's so cute. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the old white man for me. I feel so small in here. I'm going. I just feel really small. I feel so small. This place is gorgeous. So to any of my fellow friends who also like to frolic in fields of forbidden forest fruit, why does that sound like a weird line out of a children's book? Anyways, consider getting a hotel. This is what I felt like the colors looked like while I was tripping. There is a filter on Snapchat called the Shine Filter, and I feel like this is probably the closest. Well, you know what? I'm sure there's a better one, but this is what it kind of looked like. It's very bright and vivid, and when you're tripping, sometimes stuff has like a second skin to it, so it looks like everything's kind of breathing, but that's if you're tripping balls. Anyways, we were just exploring. Consider getting a hotel. We were trying- okay, y'all. So we were trying to figure out what this door was, because we were on the second floor, and we know we did not go trespassing or whatever. We were just trying to figure out what this door was with no handles. We're on the second floor, so we were debating whether it was a balcony, outside, or if it led to another room. Oh, it does have handles. What am I talking about? Okay, I thought it didn't have handles. Anyways, we were just trying to figure out if it was a balcony or another room or whatever. But we were just exploring. It was the middle of the night and nobody was really out and we were really considerate and responsible. We were pretty quiet. We had a good volume and everything like that. So we were just hanging out and chilling. I would say always trip with people you are comfortable with. And if you are comfortable enough to get a hotel room, then also consider that as an option as a safe place to trip. And do not go outside or to any exterior environments until you are comfortable doing so because once you get into the public that's a whole different situation you see how chill we were you see this right just walking around casual if you were to see us all you see are three pretty ass girls checking out a hotel that they're staying in for the night so you wouldn't even really know where you're tripping but believe it or not i don't know why but there were two people you see that door right there there were people standing out there staring at us and then suddenly they decided to come in. All we were doing was sitting at the top of the stairs because the view was gorgeous, but apparently the posh people of society would not dare to do such a thing. Even though this room is dead ass empty, but I- There's like two of them now. Oh my God. Open. Yeah, that somebody had the key and somebody didn't. As I said, y'all, we are very responsible and considerate even when we're tripping on shrooms. However, we did have a quite abrupt and rude interruption. That said, make sure you go check out Mars's channel. I'm gonna put all the information down below. Some of this story is not mine to tell, so please go check out her channel as well. We are all serving up a phenomenal perspective of the human experience, so make sure you're checking out all sides of the story. And you can check out the final part of this story on my channel as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm a motherfucking monsters i'll see you on the next video bye if you like this video like this video share subscribe comment and yeah bye y'all